Quebec, the one and only St. Lawrence, among the thousands of rivers and lakes, a hundred species of freshwater fish, a huge range of flora and fauna, breathtaking landscapes. All of this, however, is facing a major threat from invasive exotic species. Invasive exotic species can be animals, plants, or microorganisms. Once they have been introduced and become established in their new home, they pose a threat for the environment, the economy, and society as a whole. And after an invasive species has been introduced, it is often difficult or impossible to eradicate. Lakes smothered by unwanted aquatic plants, structures covered by zebra mussels, lost income, declining waterside property values, increased infrastructure maintenance costs. Invasive exotic species can be spread by many different activities, including sport and recreational fishing. When people move watercraft from one lake or river to another, without taking suitable precautions, they can carry unwanted passengers, whether on the boat itself or on their trailer and equipment. Invasive species can be found in a number of unexpected places and can be of any size. They can include clumps or parts of aquatic plants, eggs, larvae, parasites, and even pathogens that can cause death to native species. Luckily, we can help prevent the introduction of unwanted species by taking some quick and simple steps. For example, fish or water from a given lake or river must never be released into another body of water. Furthermore, by thoroughly cleaning the watercraft and equipment used in fishing and recreational activities, we can help preserve our aquatic ecosystems. Once ready, five simple steps that take only five minutes to complete. Inspect, remove, drain, wash, repeat. Step one, inspect. After pulling your watercraft from the water, inspect the trailer, all parts of the watercraft, and all other equipment to detect any species that may be present. Step two, remove. Remove all plants, animals, and mud and dispose of them in a garbage bin or at a suitable distance from the water and any sewer system. This will make sure that no living organism or debris are returned to the water. Step three, drain. Drain the water from all live wells, from the bottom of the boat, and from all other containers such as coolers and bucket. Step four, wash. Wash your boat and trailer using a pressure washer to dislodge any living organism that may be present. You can also use a brush and cleaning solution containing bleach, chlorine, or vinegar in water heated to 40 degrees Celsius. Another solution is to let your boat and equipment dry for five days before visiting another body of water, since aquatic species cannot survive in the open air for this period of time. First, however, you must check that all live wells are empty and that no water has pooled anywhere else in the boat. Step 5. Repeat. Repeat all these steps every time you plan to visit another body of water. No matter the kind of watercraft being used, five minutes of your time is not too much to ask to ensure that we can continue to enjoy our lakes and rivers well into the future. Have a great season.